from above the tie, one of their really nice safety razors. We're going to have a shave with it coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch shavers everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. We've got a brand new safety razor in the shave den. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is right here, a brand new razor from uh, the folks at Above the Tie. It comes in a box like this, all right? And uh, they give you uh, a little uh, envelope here, and in the envelope you get, um, you, get a, you get a little business card from them like this, right here, Above the Tie business card, okay? And then uh, you also get uh, a little, uh, little pouch with a polishing cloth. They also give you some O-rings there for the uh, for the actual razor now the razor is uh, seated and cushioned very very nicely in this box here they also give you uh some astro razor blades we have some uh, we got one more astro razor blade left in a in a, uh, in a um, an open uh, pack already so we're going to use that but uh, all in all it's a really really wonderful wonderful presentation now sadly above the time uh, is uh, going out of business and they had a massive clearance sale uh, before they shut their doors. I don't know if there's anything up there still available at the time I'm shooting this video, but uh, viewer Stanley Piaskowski alerted us to this uh, this last sale, this clearance sale from Above the Tide, and uh, we talked about it on Second Cup, the Second Cup podcast. And uh, I went up there and I placed an order on one of the razors that was... Uh, in clearance and uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it because uh, as we talked about again on another Second Cup podcast that they were flooded with so many orders that their system was overwhelmed and they had to pause uh, the sale and then maybe issue refunds to uh, some uh, customers. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get this razor but it did come through and uh, here it is right here. This is the Stainless Steel Windsor Pro Safety Razor, three-piece safety razor. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a gorgeous stainless steel razor. It has a beautiful, beautiful, I guess you could say it's got a beautiful polish to it. Very, 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 very uh, finished off very, very nicely. The finish is just absolutely beautiful. And uh, if you look at the bottom plate here, etched here, it says above the tie, uh, SB90. I don't know if you can see that. Above the tie on this side. Well, here, let's just take it apart here because we're going to be loading the, the razor anyhow. Okay, set that, set that there. And I am going to be using an O-ring uh, with the, uh, the base plate. And Okay, here it is right here. Above the tie, and it says SB90. Above the tie, SB90. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just kind of rock it back and forth. Okay, and... Um, Inside the outside of the cap is very beautifully polished. Inside is a matte finish. So that's kind of what we got going on there. Same thing with the base plate. The outside is nicely polished. Inside is um, a matte finish where the blade will sit. Uh, anyhow, uh, this is rate on the, on the on the level of aggression. This is rated a nine. And I thought, my gosh, that's you know, after I purchased it, I thought, wow. Uh, that's pretty aggressive. Uh, and then I wasn't sure I was going to get it. It was delivered and I thought, well, I got kind of a, I got kind of an aggressive razor that I'm probably not going to use. So I then went, went ahead and looked at their sale and they happened to have this plate, uh, available, uh, until they were sold out. Uh, this is the M2 open comb. Uh, base plate here. It's a little bit shorter, but the end, end tabs of the blade are still enclosed because of the cap. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is rated milder. So I purchased this thinking that this Windsor Pro Razor was going to be far too aggressive for me. Well, 
we're going to have a shave with the Windsor Pro <laughs> to show you how it's shaved. I have two days worth of beard growth uh, that we're going to uh, take down. And uh, I've already done uh, my uh, pre-shave steps. I've already had, uh, I've already used the, um, the Cube 2.0 to uh, wash my face and get everything nice, nicely prepped. You know, really kind of work that in to really clean the face and just really degrease it and that sort of thing. And I also uh, had a really nice hot towel treatment for a good solid minute. And that was really, really wonderful. Thanks again to Jamie Horn for the hot towel cabinet. I cannot, I mean, I'm telling you, I recommend hot towel cabinet for your shave. Uh, it really is a great, great step. Anyhow, we've done those preliminaries. We're going to be using uh, Diver Down uh, Shave Soap from Phoenix Shaving. This is definitely a favorite. I've got some uh, hot water sitting on top of the puck here like this. And we're going to be using my Starry Night Lathering Bowl. Thanks again to Beth Jones. And we're going to be using my Solar Flare Shaving Brush with the Butterscotch Handle. Thanks, Mom. And uh, I am uh, shooting this video very, very close to Mother's Day, which is why we're using this, uh, this shaving brush. The Solar Flare Shaving Brush with the Butterscotch Handle. Thanks, Mom. All right, there's a little bit of a brush load there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just build that lather in the Starry Night Bowl. This is Formula CK6, and it whips up so very, very quickly. <laughs> it makes a great lather right away. And what did I do? Maybe six swirls like that uh, with my brush. And it is just wonderful, wonderful stuff. And I love this scent. It's not quite a bay rum, but it's in the bay rum family. But I really, really enjoy this a lot. I mean, look, look how much I have already. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit of water and get even more. My gosh, am I going to get a lot of lather here? That's, look at that, look at that, that's marvelous. Look at that. Yeah, bowl lathering has really changed my shave. I really enjoy it. I had been face lathering uh, early on in my wet shaving journey. And bowl lathering, yeah, it's, 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 it's really a great step in the process. I mean, face lathering is fine, but bowl lathering is bowl lather. <laughs> it's great. It is just great to see it develop in that bowl. Ah, absolutely marvelous. All right, so we're going to set this down over here like this. I'm going to place the brush in there. Uh, I am going to apply my pre-shave, so let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. All right, so we're going to go ahead and apply the Cube 2.0 once more as my pre-shave. This is mentholated, activated charcoal, CK6. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Okay. That's good. That's got it right there. And here's the hot towel I use. I'm just going to use this to wipe off my hands every so often. All right. Here is uh, an Astra pack here. I got one Astra blade left in it. So that's what we're going to use. Set that there. And again, beautiful, beautiful stainless razor. And check out the, uh, the channels to move that lather out of the way on the base plate. Very generous. I mean, it really does a great job in moving that lather out of the way. Uh, from, from the blade. Really, really terrific. Okay, let me just set that down there like that. Let's open up this uh, blade. I'm going to let that going to let that lather just rest on the face there. I'm going to take this other base plate and just set it right over here on top of my hot towel cabinet out of the way so it doesn't get overly wet. Okay, so here is the uh, I'll make sure you see the label here. Uh, well, you know what? Shoot, this is not an Astro Blade. Look at that. It's a Sputnik. Well, I, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to rewrap this. It's not an Astro. It was in an Astro pack. All right. I want to use an Astro Blade with this because it came with Astro Blade. So I'm going to set this aside. I thought it was, gee was how did that happen? 
<laughs> I'll save that for another time. Let's crack open up. Let's crack open these Astro Blades right here. Boy, am I glad I looked at that because it's a split neck. It's not a... Man, almost made a mistake there. We want to use the Astro Blade that came with... We want to use the brand of blade that came with the razor because if they're putting the Astro Blade in there, they're recommending them indirectly or directly, however you want to. Look at it. Okay, so there it is there. Okay. Astro Blade. You can see that now. Okay. Astro Blade. Here's my cap. Astro Blade. Right there in the cap like that. And it's real, what's really interesting here, it doesn't really have some big posts. It just has a little couple of small pins in there. And that's, it aligns the blade wonderfully well. And then here is the, um, here's the base plate right here. Okay, I'm going to set that on top there like that. Again, the uh, end tabs are enclosed in the razor head. Oh, get my O-ring. Almost forgot. There's my O-ring there. Put that in there. Okay, get in there. Come on. Okay. Like that. And then we'll tighten this guy down. Okay, they are nice and snug. And the balance and alignment are spot on and look at that that looks like oh boy <laughs> that looks like we're in for some that looks like a storm front if you know what i mean let me let me put some little more water on this hang on one minute i thought i had lathered already i said oh yeah it's moisture still the pre-shave pre-shave felt great but menthol had me thinking diver down. My, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. Well, now that we got the, everything loaded, the razor's loaded and everything, now we can go ahead and paint this on. Now, oh, yeah, now, now that's it. My apologies. Uh, <laughs> this, again, the diver down is kind of in the Bay Rum family, and it also, you know, that... Gives you that bay rum, also kind of a menthol kind of sensation. You know, it's right there in the family. And that's why I thought, <laughs> that's why I thought I already had the lather on it. Now, if you saw one of my previous videos, I actually used the cube uh, for a shave by itself. So maybe I have that in my memory bank too, because it gave a great shave just using the cube 2.0. That was great. That was really, that really worked really, 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 really well. Uh, so that's why I love the cube. That's why I love the cube 2.0 so much. And look at that. We've got just a wonderful, wonderful lather there. I love the density and I love this, the, the, the slickness, the rich creaminess of it. This nice yogurty kind of, oh, nice yogurty consistency. These beautiful peaks. See that peak right there? Just beautiful. Just fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Okay. Now, we're all loaded up. <laughs> we're all loaded up. We're ready to go. We're going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. And we're going to get to the shave. Again, this is a nine uh, as far as being rated. The, 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 the level of aggression, it's rated at nine. This is what the folks at Above the Tie said. So, here we go. All right, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Now, I'm using a light touch, but if that's a nine, that has got to be the smoothest nine I have ever had from a razor. I am not kidding you. I've got two days worth of beard growth. And again, look how that just moves the lather out of the way of the blade. I got two days worth of beard growth. And uh, it's really just just shaving it away very, very comfortably. This is really, really a smooth, smooth razor.
There's no tugging. There's no pulling. Very, very nice and smooth. A wonderful glide. A beautiful, smooth swath. A nice, beautiful, smooth shave swath. Just terrific. Again, this is a nine. I mean, it sure doesn't feel like something that's overly, overly aggressive. Plenty of slickness there from uh, CK6 to do that on the chin, kind of knock that down, do a little bit of buffing there. Boy, that's, uh, that's terrific. I got probably, well, the Razor Head has an, a somewhat nice slim profile, but uh, just the angle of approach here, I, I didn't get quite as much as I wanted to underneath there. I'll get the, the uh, probably 50%. I'll get the remainder on the east to west pass. I'm just going to set that right there like that. That's the first pass done. Well, let's rinse. Now, of course, I've got two days worth of beard growth, and I am approaching socially acceptable. And um, I'm approaching the socially acceptable shave territory. And uh, I would say that uh, on the upper lip and underneath the nostrils with the uh, Windsor Pro from above the tie, I think probably I would have gotten more um, on the first pass with, say, one day's worth of beard growth. i got to keep that in mind that it's two days worth of beard growth here. And uh, Diver Down is just marvelous. Boy, I love this. I really love this scent. I love the CK6 performance. It is fantastic. I always say that if you're a beginner wet shaver and you are having trouble learning how to bowl lather, get a good synthetic brush. Go up to Phoenix Shaving. Get a good synthetic brush from them. They doesn't matter which one you get, they're all great. Just the different knot sizes, different handle sizes. Get one that you think would fit comfortably in your hand. And uh you know, check out the different kinds of synthetic knots they offer. But uh get a um synthetic brush from them and get a, a tub of their soap. All their soaps are CK6 now, and uh Priced a nice, very, very nice price point for a four ounce tub. And get a bowl, a nice bowl. You don't have to go, go crazy. Get a nice bowl. You can get, find a bowl at a Goodwill store. You might have a shaving bowl that you can pick up from, uh, well, Amazon or any of the, any of the different, uh, wet shaving uh, online retailers. Or like I say, just a, a really, really large, large coffee cup. And this will, <laughs> you'll be surprised how, how wonderfully easy it is to make a lather. It's going to take, a, you know, you might have to take a few attempts, but boy, you just get right into the groove of making a lather. It really does uh, help you uh, to understand how to create a really, really good lather. And again, you know, five or six swirls, put some hot water on there, dump it off, get your wet brush, five or six swirls, go right to your bowl. There you go. I mean, it really is. It really is that uh, uh, wonderfully easy, and it's just so enjoyable. All right, so we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. The second pass... It really is removing a lot of that uh, beard growth. I mean, uh, this is usually my money pass. But 
But my gosh, this razor, this razor really is very, very efficient, but it is so smooth. I, 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 I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that it's at level aggression, level nine aggression. I don't feel any trepidation at all. I don't know if you're able to hear any of that audio feedback, but it really is cutting away the whisker. All right, here's the upper lip where I'll get hopefully the, the remaining 50%. And again, CK6 offers me enough slickness where I can kind of be finicky and kind of buff around a little bit there and uh, get the uh, remaining whiskers, uh, those little bits that still might be lingering. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Let's see where we're at. I, I, need, I need a third pass. I really do. I, I can't. <laughs> this this is this razor is wonderful. A nine uh, uh, nine aggression. I don't know. I, I I really don't know. Level nine aggression. I don't know. If it is, as I say, it's the smoothest nine I've ever shaved with. Well, I take that back. <laughs> I don't think I've had an adjustable razor turn up to nine ever. So. Maybe that's what I need to do. <laughs> but I have used the Mula R41, and believe me, I, I am very, very cautious when I use that because that is a very aggressive razor. This is not like a Mula R41. That's all I'm saying. I don't, I just, I'm having a hard time understanding how this can be a nine. Um, we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Uh, razor head is nice and snug. Nothing's loosened up. Uh, absolutely beautiful balance. The handle has some really, really tight traditional knurling, and it feels great in the hand. Just absolutely wonderful. I love doing a third pass. I love going against the grain. I just love this movement. Wow, that's nice. Boy, that that is that is it's wonderful. It feels like a mild razor. I My gosh, what a, what a wonderful, wonderful shave. Third pass done, let's rinse. Yeah, boy, boy, I'm on my way to BBS, really. I really, really am. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a hot towel here, and we're going to use this for my uh, warm water rinse right here like this. That's marvelous. That's terrific. 
Yeah, now I'm feeling a little bit here and here, and that's going to retract, and I think I'm going to get BBS. That's sometimes how my shaves go. I can tell, uh, uh, you know, because of the, I, can, I can tell that it's going to retract because the hair is still plumped up from the, uh, the water and the excess moisture there, and as it throws it off, it's going to retract. So probably 10 minutes from now, I should have a BBS finish. That's usually how my shaves work. Sometimes I get the, those shaves where I, it's, you can feel it immediately. Um, but, you know, just the way it happens for me. Um, we're going to go with our cold water rinse. Okay, cold water rinse. Yeah, that I like that. That's that's a nice finishing touch. Really, clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. Ah, that's marvelous. What a shave! What a great, great shave! All right, here's the album block. This will tell us. You know, this will tell us. If this is really a nine on the uh, scale of uh, aggression, it's a nine aggress. If it's rated at level nine aggression, we'll see what kind of feedback we get. If we get any stinging, any zinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. Well, I gotta be honest with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting some. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. I am getting a lot of feedback. Yeah. Not real harsh, but you can see there's no irritation, there's no redness, but I am getting some, I would say, I'm not get. I'm getting a few zings here and there, but I am getting some mild, mild stinging in the background. Yeah, no kidding. If everything feels nice right now, as if the Allen block did its job and really calmed everything down. Absolutely, which is why I use it all the time. And of course, uh, on a recent Monday morning mailbag, we talked about sometimes uh, with your Allen block, check your corners, check your edges, make sure that there are no sharp or rough areas there. You know, knock it down with a um, you know, a fingernail file or some very, very fine sandpaper, that sort of thing. That's what I've done with this. All right, put it in the, in the dry dock, dry dock right there like that. Wow, fantastic. Let's show you the lather. I always like to show you the lather. And we've got some left here. Got enough, we have enough left for probably a fourth pass if we want. Okay, there it is right there. Look at that. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, golly. Fantastic. CK6. It's great stuff. It's great stuff. All right. Here is the uh, Diver Down Aftershave. This has got a kick. If my eyes start to water towards the end of the, uh, <laughs> towards the closing of the show, you'll know why. It's this guy right here. But it dissipates, obviously. But man, it's got a great scent. I love the kick to it. It's got a nice kick. Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. Yeah, that's a nice kick. A nice kick, but the nice thing is, is that I know now that it's not uh, from the shave. It's actually from this. Boy, that's a, yeah, that's got a kick to it. <laughs> and you can see, you know, I, I, I got a fresh bottle in the wings just waiting for me. Because I do like this a lot. And we also have the uh, Phoenix Shaving uh, Star Jelly, which is their aftershave balm. Like, like this. I do need a head shave. Okay, we'll use that much right there. I do need a head shave. I do need a head shave. And I got a little redness right up here. That must be from the towel, I guess. I think that'll dissipate too a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think that's from uh, anything else because I'm not shaving up there. But uh, yeah, I think that's from the, the hot towel when I wrapped up my shave. So I'm sure that'll, I'm sure that'll dissipate and uh, I think it'll go away. All right. 
Great, great shape. Yeah, yeah, this has got some aggression to it, but man, is it smooth. The Allen Block told me that, yeah, it probably lives up to its number nine rating as far as level of aggression, but it is so smooth. Now, is it really number nine? I don't know. Hard to say. When I first used this, I thought this was like a four, four and a half, not a nine. Maybe it is a nine. And maybe they've done something to where it's so smooth, it's deceptively uh, aggressive, uh, or how should I say it? It's aggressive, but deceptively mild. So you, you know, you'll get a shave. And you know what? I am, I am getting the BBS is starting, <laughs> is starting to come through right now. Yeah, absolutely fantastic, fantastic razor. I'm just sorry I didn't get one sooner. Uh, what a well-made razor it's. It's sad to see uh, Above the Tie close their doors. I hope that you uh, listened to the Second Cup podcast and were able to get up there and get one of these or one of their similar razors they were offering or maybe uh, a base plate or two if you've already had. If you already have an Above, tie, above the Tie razor, all I can say is this. The Windsor Pro uh, with the SB90 base plate. Uh, stainless steel. If you know of someone who is selling it, snap it up. Because uh, I would love to be able to take this uh, for weekend getaways. Uh, but I'm, I won't. <laughs> I won't because if I lose it, it's gone forever. So this will stay in my shaved in. But man, oh man, wish I had a backup. <laughs> because it is a terrific, terrific razor. So there it is right there, the above the tie. Windsor Pro. Uh, if you see one from a fellow what shaver who says, yeah, I'd like to sell it or whatever, snap it up, give them a fair price for it because it is worth every penny. I hope you were able to get one at the Above the Tide clearance sale. I'm, I'm very, very sorry to hear that they closed their doors. I would have uh, loved to have tried their razors earlier. Always saw them online, various wet shaving forums and Facebook uh, wet shaving groups. I uh, always saw photos of them and people talking about them and raving about these razors. And uh, you know what? I, I, I should have gone up there and, and purchased one right then and there. And uh, I'm very, very glad that I was able to get this one. However, um, I wish it were under better circumstances. Um, okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell so it'll give me a yell and next time I upload a video, comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shaving soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment Pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Marks or 80, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.